guys, it's Peggy Noe from PrettyPaperCards.com. I'm an independent Stampin' Up! demonstrator, and I'm here with my little Yorkshire Terrier, Ellie. And we have some fun projects today. We've got two projects instead of just one. We have two projects. And um, I just wanted to chat with you for a minute about how the weather is for you, because I know a lot of the country is in a very you know, in a big heat heat wave. And so I'm gonna check here, so I, I'm gonna get you up on my computer, so my laptop, so that I can see your comments. And I'm just excited to be with you on Wednesday. Wednesday's a, a fun day to do a live. I really like it. Um, and like I said, we've got two projects for today. So what are we gonna talk about? Let's talk about, um, well, let me share first of all, because I like you guys to share, so I'm going to share this, and um, I'm going to share this with my group of demonstrators, so they can watch live if they want to also. Hey, Kay, I see you. I think you're on there. Um, good to see you. So, how is the weather where you are? It's warm here because it's uh, mid-June, just about mid-June. But you know, it doesn't get really hot here until August and September, and I know the rest of the country is having a big heat situation. So um, I hope you're okay. I've got a fan going today, so if you hear a little noise, it's just a fan. We're not super hot, but the fan is nice. It's nice to have a fan. So what's going on with Stampin' Up? Well, a couple things. I've been talking to you about the last chance promotion. That is, um, the January to June mini catalog, let me show it to you, yes, which is um, retiring at the end of June. And this catalog is, some of the things are discounted, some are not, but most everything is being retired. Some items are carried over, but I have a link there to my, um, to the, to the retiring items so that you can go on there and check. Hello, baby. You can go on and check and see if you can if there's anything you want that's discounted. Some items were discounted up to 50%. So I want to make sure you take advantage of that. Now, I wanted to remind you also, not only is that cat um, catalog retiring, but some fun items are retiring. Do you remember the Hey Chick stamp set that was brought back? Remember that? We brought it back and added some adorable dies to it. And it's been a special, here are the dies, and the special has been going on, let me get it where you can see them, because they're super, super cute. And this special has been going on for a couple of months, the Hey Chick special. And also they brought out Hey Birthday Chick, and this is in the new catalog, this is carrying over, and the Birthday Chick dies. But what is retiring is Hey Chick. So it's officially retiring now on June 30th, the same day the other catalog is retiring. And I want to make sure that you see that and that you can grab it if you want to. For one thing, these are both sets with their dies are at bundle prices, which you know is 10% off. Um, but the, the Hey Chick, the original one, is retiring for sure on June 30th. The Hey Birthday Chick will be in the new catalog with the dies, but it won't be at the 10% off. So if you ever wanted to get these, I encourage you to get them now. And we're gonna use something from these uh, Hey Chick dies. I'll show them again to you a little bit more when we turn the camera down. But there are so many adorable dies in this set. If you have chickens or know of anybody that likes chickens, I really encourage you to um, get this while you can before June 30th. So that was the one thing I wanted to tell you. Another thing I wanted to tell you is you all know about my host code, right? You know about my um, the host code gift that I give? This month, if you use my host code, which is um, up above, and it's also on the front page of my uh, blog, and it's also on every post that I post, Use my host code when you order, and you're going to get a full pack of 20 of these adorable ombre gift bags. And they're in all five of the new colors, the new in colors. And we're going to use um, 
we're going to play with a gift bag today too. It's a nice gift and you get it for free just for adding my host code to your $50 plus order. So I really want you to know about that. So that is our business stuff and we are going to begin to make our projects. Let me put Ellie down for a minute. I'm not seeing any comments. I'm not sure if it's something going on with, um, oh, I already have eight comments. Okay, let's see. For some reason, Facebook's a little bit different. I'm not seeing them. Let me, let me do one quick thing, okay? Hold on and let me, let me see what I can do here. I think, you know, I don't know. They're just making changes. So let me see. Here we go. Hold on just one minute. There it is. Okay, I think I'm going to see it much better now. Okay, because I do like, I love to see your comments. Ah, there we go. I'm glad to see you guys on. Pam, good to see. Thank you for sharing. Um, that's what I wanted to see is your comments. Um, okay, yes, thank you so much. Okay, good. Now I'm feeling better. So let's switch you down. Let's do our little switch over. And here we go. So I'm going to show you a little more closely. Here are the hey Chick, here's the Hey Chick bundle that's going to be retiring on June 30th. And it's really super cute. There are the dies and the little chick. And here is the birthday chick set, which is continuing, um, but not at the bundle price. Okay, so make sure that you take advantage of that. All right, so our projects for today, we're gonna make a Father's Day card. I thought we probably should, you know, um, I don't, both my father and my husband's father are both in heaven, but um, I still like to give my husband a card. And I know that a lot of you have, uh, I, if, whether or not you have fathers that you're, um, that you would give a card to, or if you have uh, sons that are fathers and son-in-laws and stuff like that. So I, kn I know we need Father's Day cards. So what I've done today is I've made a Father's Day card and a gift bag out of the ombre gift bags. And we'll make that together. I'll show you how to do this and I'll show you what's inside of the gift bag because I think you might like it and it's a good idea. So here's our card that we're gonna make and it's a fold out card. And so it just has a little bit of fun to it. It's not a real fancy fold. It's kind of like just a little fun fold. And I'm really not seeing your comments. I think Facebook has just changed something and I want to see your comments. So I apologize if you can't, if I don't respond. So let's start making our Father's Day card. And I'm going to show you how to do this fold because you can use it for almost anything. So I'm going to get out my paper trimmer. We're going to use our trusty paper trimmer today. And let's get it right where you can see it here. And you know there are the two blades. There is the cutting blade, which is the dark one. This is the Stampin' Up! paper trimmer. Whoops, I have a little paper in there. Let's get that little guy out of there. Okay, so here's the cutting blade and here's the scoring blade. So what we're going to start with here is um, our... We're going to use Evening Evergreen. We're going to use In Colors today, Evening Evergreen and Soft Succulent. And here's our Evening Evergreen piece. And it is eight and a half by five and a half, kind of your standard card size base. And I'm going to show you how we're going to score it. So we're going to start scoring at four and a quarter, right there, using the scoring blade. Whoops, let me be sure to get, get this up. Okay, four and a quarter right there. Score. And then we're going to move backward and we're going to score at two and an eighth, which is half of four and a quarter, right? So two and one eighth. I call it niches. It's two little niches, two little marks. Okay, so now we have our card scored. And let's fold it. So we're going to fold it in as we would any normal card that we're making and then we fold it back like this. It's a little bit hard to see, isn't it, with the um, with the evening evergreen. And we're going to really burnish those lines, okay, just like that. Really burnish those lines. 
and there's our card. There's our card base. It folds out just like that. Now, I thought I'm thinking, okay, what are good things that men usually like? You know, men like, um, well, they might have a wood desk or something like that, or they might, wood is good for men, right? Wood is, it's a good, if you put wood on a card, a wood look, it's always a good idea. So this is a piece of wood look paper from the Beauty of the Earth, the new Beauty of the Earth Designer Series paper. And it's very pretty, and I thought it would be perfect for our card today. So we're going to cut this at five and a quarter. That's going to be our height. Five and a quarter right here. And then we're going to uh, cut a couple of strips. We're going to cut one at five and a quarter by one and seven eighths. So let's go down here. And seven eighths, of course, out of eight eighths. So it's just a little bit back of two. One and seven eighths. And the other one is going to be two and a half. So we're just gonna put it right there and two and a half. And there we have our wood look pieces. And let me get those out of my um, paper trimmer. So let's take our card and begin to assemble. As we cut, I thought we would assemble. So what we're gonna do is put the larger piece right over here on the, on the right side, and the more slender piece we're gonna put on the, on the side that you see when you open the card, okay? So I'm just gonna glue that with um, our multi-purpose glue, and particularly for a card like this where you really, where it really shows where you put the paper and what the borders are. I really like to use my multi-purpose glue. It's just a little dot. We'll get that off. And that piece is now set just right. Okay. And the reason it's set there is because then when you close the card, the card covers that part. Now we're going to add um, this little piece and put this on the front of the card just like we did the other one. And again, this is on our new beautiful deep green called Evening Evergreen cardstock. Okay, and there's our card. We're getting, we're getting it started, right? So now we're more ready to decorate. But what about these two pieces? Well, let's cut some a basic white paper for those two, two openings. And let me grab my basic white. Here's my basic white paper. And I'm gonna get my um, paper trimmer going here and my cutting blade. I'm looking to the side because I wanna make sure I get the, I have this clipboard here that tells me this, the inches and I wanna make sure to get the right inches for you. So the basic white is gonna be five and a quarter by one and a half, one of the pieces. So let's see if I've got it at five and a quarter. Nope, it's not five and a quarter on that. So we'll cut the long side at five and a quarter. Okay, and then what do we need? We need one at one and a half, so five and a quarter by one and a half. And I will put all these measurements, I put post this up on YouTube, so you'll see this up on YouTube. Okay, so one and a half, and by two, the next one is two inches. Okay, so there we go, two inches. All right, now with this piece, I think you'll remember from our uh, sample, so the, the, two and a half, the two inch goes here and the one and a half goes over here. And you'll remember from our sample, we had happy, 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 happy inside. And so I'm gonna stamp that and I'm gonna use the Evening Evergreen ink. And um, I, the stamps that I'm using for this, let me find it for you is um, one of our new stamp sets. It's Create with Friends. I've used this with you before, and it says Happy, right here. So I have the Happy stamp, and I just really like it. It fits really well inside um, different um, narrow areas, and it's easy to stamp. It's a photopolymer, and remember, you would wanna put it on a pad. My desk pad here is very, uh, is already cushioned. 
So I'm just going to stamp happy. Stamp happy, that's right, we're happy stampers. And I'm just going to stamp it kind of arbitrarily. It doesn't have to be perfect, it doesn't have to be even, but I think it just adds a little something when you open the card, right? And with the photopolymer, what I like is that I can see if all the letters are darkened in there. In other words, they have ink on them. Okay, so I think I'll just do four happies there. And then we're going to glue this to the inside of our card right here so that when the person opens the card, it says happy. You know, I, I don't know, but we don't need to... Um, I think this is great for a guy because it just says, you can write your own, the rest of your own sentiment, like thanks for being a great father, or I appreciate you, or so many things you can write on your own. Um, but I think to say happy to a guy, it makes, you know, I'm happy about you. I think they should like it. Okay, and here's our other piece, the two inch piece, and we're just gonna adhere that so that our inside of our card is going to be finished now. And again, by using the glue, you can see that you're getting it um, even at the top and the bottom. So that looks pretty good for the card, doesn't it? And I just think it's a pretty cute fold. And you just pop it open. So now we need to prepare our decoration. Our um, What we have here is our Father's Day sentiment. And I'm going to show you how to do that. Now, one thing I want to show you that's kind of fun is you can put, I'm using the big stamp and cut and emboss machine today. Okay, this is the big baby, Mr. Big. And one thing we're going to do is we're going to put all the dies that we're going to need right on this. We can run it through on in one cut. And that's a very handy thing to do, to run them through in one cut. So what we're cutting today is we're cutting the piece of soft succulent and we're using a die from the Hippo and Friends. So I'm gonna actually put that kind of toward the back. So that's gonna be our, our piece that hangs over. And then we're using from the Hey Chick dies we're going to use this cute little sign. I've really enjoyed this sign. I'm pretty sad that it's leaving. Um, I might continue to use it because I think it's cute. A little house sign. And we're going to put the happy back inside of it. Okay, and then I may not be able to get them all. Let's see. I thought I could get everything on here. Let's move it this way and see if we can. And there's the little sign. Then we're going to cut... Um, the words father and um, let's see I don't need that I need father's day all my dice kind of moved around here let me grab one. it fell down on the floor <laughs> sorry okay so we've got father's day and so everything is gonna fit on here father's day all right just like I thought. They all do fit on, so it makes it handy to just run this through one time. Here we go. Okay. There we go. All right, let's see what we've got here. And this makes it so easy. If you can run everything through one time, it really saves you time. So here we've got our Father's Day um, die cut. And here we have the day. Let's pop that little guy out. Okay, and our cute little, look at that, our cute little signpost, kind of a little old-fashioned rustic. So that's what we needed to have cut this time. And we've got it all done. And we've got our main piece that's going to hang over our card right here. Alrighty, so now we're ready to create. So let's make this and before we attach it to the card. So what we're going to do is we want to kind of figure out, put it up here so you can see it, how we're going to 
adhere and attach these things? How is it going to look good? So we want to put the sign coming up kind of like that. Okay, so that's what we're going to do. Now when you glue these little tiny babies, um, you can do it a couple of ways. Some people put it on an adhesive sheet and cut it that way so that it's all adhesive. I don't know. I, I do fine with my little dots of glue like this. And I just barely put little bits of glue, multi-purpose glue. And then if you leave just a few minutes, it'll set up a little bit and then it won't move so much. It won't, there isn't a possibility that it'll pop out, you know, that glue will pop out when you set it down on your, your cardstock that you're adhering it to. So I'm gonna show you, that's one of the tricks for, for using these type of dies. So we're just gonna let it sit just a minute to dry, set up a little bit so it's not as smeary. And then we're going to lay it down, and when you first lay it down, do not move it once it goes down, okay? Just like that. And then as long as you don't move it around, you won't have any problems with glue seeping out. Okay, I wanna know if you guys have um, people to send Father's Day cards to, let me know. But you know, this, um, this entire project could be for anything. It could be for Mother's Day, it could be any kind of gift, just a hello gift, a hostess gift, anything. It really is an all-purpose card design. And then we're gonna just let that day, the word day cool a little bit. Not cool, but adhere. Just gonna lay that down like that. And now we're gonna work on our sign. Okay, we have the word happy again uh, that we're gonna put inside that sign. And I'll show you how I'm gonna do it. I'm gonna take a strip of uh, basic white cardstock and I'm gonna use that happy stamp again. And what I'm gonna do, because it's photopolymer and we can see through it, I'm gonna get it right down here in this corner. And then I'll only have to cut two sides because I'm gonna to wanna to cut it very small. I'm gonna to have to move it to get it under my face here. Okay, there it is, easy to stamp. And now we're gonna just trim around that, but it's, it's easy because we don't have, we only have two sides to cut and that's easy. So we'll just cut it on the right side straight up like that and cut the top. Try to get it pretty close to those letters because we need a small space. And actually I'm gonna trim up this left side too because there's only a small little place. I just saw it looked a little curvy. The place where we have to put this on is just right in here like that. It's a really small space. Now I see that's a little crooked. And as long as you have your paper snips, you can just go back and just even that, even that out. Still maybe looking a little bit crooked. I think I'll, sometimes I look at them from the back. That can help, help you get it more even. Okay, now what we're gonna do is adhere, to give some dimension, we're gonna adhere the word happy with a couple of mini dimensionals right on top of the little signpost. Again, I so love this signpost. It's just super cute. It's almost kind of like an old fashioned for sale sign on your house, right? Kind of almost cartoony. Okay, and then we're just gonna lay this down right in the middle of the um, sign. And look how cute that is. I'll put it right up there. Isn't that just darling? I really, I just think that's super cute. So here's our Father's Day uh, piece, and we're gonna put our little sign right on here with regular dimensionals now. So we're gonna add a couple of regular, regular dimensionals to the back and pop that on and then it's gonna be done. And then we can go on to our, our gift bag. So there it is. Okay, isn't that just cute? Now we're gonna add it onto the front of our card, just like this. And what we wanna do is remember, you're not going to put anything, to, any adhering things under this portion, only under the left because you only want the left to adhere. So I'm gonna go just with three dimensionals. That should take care of it. Okay, 
And the one trick here is to make sure you get it, try to get it even from top to bottom and on side to side to side. That looks pretty good. And there's your fold out card, like that. Now I kind of wondered, and I brought a little butterfly. Do you think a guy would mind a little butterfly? I don't know, I just thought a little butterfly might look cute. I don't think it would be too bad. I mean, men aren't opposed to butterflies, are they? Let me see. Oh, hmm. I don't know what I did with my dimensionals. Well, I mean my um, glue dots, but we will use just a tiny mini dimensional then. Just like that. We can always improvise. And actually this might work better because it'll kind of stick him up. I cut this butterfly, um, let me see, what did I use to cut him with? Um, well, I cut him from the shimmer vellum, the in color shimmer vellum. And I think I used the Quiet Meadow stamp set for that. So there's our card. I kind of like it with the butterfly, don't you? I do. Okay, now let's make our gift bag. And for our gift bag, we need to bring out um, our bags. What did I do with my bags? Let me keep looking. Here they are. Okay. Here is one of the, so we're keeping the theme of the uh, evening evergreen and soft succulent. And we're going to cut a couple of pieces of uh, cardstock to make our little card front. I mean, excuse me, our little decoration on our bag. Okay? So we're going to start with a piece of Evening Evergreen, and we're going to cut that. Let me check my measurements now. We're going to cut the Evening Evergreen at um, two and three quarters by one and three quarters. Okay, so let's go to two and three quarters. Let's see. I'm using a scrap. You know, I always mention to you that it's good to use a scrap because then you don't waste paper by one and three quarters here. Okay, there we go. Two and three quarters by one and three quarters. And then we'll go with our um, soft succulent and that is one and a half by two and a half. Just a quarter inch in. And if you looked at my blog today, you noticed that um, I have a lesson on layering in a little video, which you might have seen before. So what we're gonna do is just adhere these one and the other, inside the other, layered, to make a really nice looking little, um, just a something something to put on the front of the card. Just right like that. And then we're gonna die cut Again, the word happy from a piece of Evening Evergreen. So let me get back my Mr. Big. And I guess I could have done, this is, I was thinking I guess that I could have done it with the others, but I was a little bit concerned they wouldn't all fit, but it would be smart if I could have figured that out. Okay, so we're just gonna run that little happy die. And I'm going to show you in a minute what these dies are from, the sets that all of these wonderful uh, dies and stamps are from. Okay, so here is our little word of happy. Let me put that down. There we go. And there it is, happy. And we can just lay this on the way we did our others by just putting some little dots of our multi-purpose glue and you can do, you know, you could make this for a girl, make, use a different envelope. And again, I'll send you the envelopes as a free gift if you use my host code when you order. And I think this is, I really feel like this whole card and everything is, is you know, you could do it for anything. I'm choosing the colors to make it more masculine. So there we go. And a little more glue popped out than I wanted, but that's okay. It'll dry. Nobody will notice. So now here's the fun part. Here's our bag, our ombre gift bag. And what I decided to put in, I mean, what guy doesn't look like peanut butter pretzel bites, right? So I put 10 peanut butter pretzel bites right in there. 
and in a sealed little mini bag. And I'm gonna put that inside of our gift bag. I think, you know, guys like food, right? I mean, we all like food, all people like food. So we're going to put that inside of our bag and then we're gonna fold our top over. Just like that, like about an inch. It's not a, it's not a science and then turn it on the other side and we can attach happy. Now I was wondering if I should attach a piece of the wood underneath just for fun. And I think I will on this one. I didn't on the other one, but just do like that. And then I have a little stapler and it doesn't, you know, if it were for a girl, I would cover it up with a flower, but I don't think guys mind staplers. So there's your little gift bag for your for your guy, a little Father's Day gift bag. So you have your card. Let me get it over here where you can see it. Your gift bag with your pretzel, peanut butter pretzels and your Father's Day card. Kind of a cute a cute little gift selection, isn't it? I I wanted to do something Father's Day-ish because I I don't know um you know it's time to send it, I guess is what I'm trying to say. It's time to get ready because Father's Day is the 20th. That's about a week and a half from now. And I wanted to give you plenty of time to make a card and send it and prepare a little gift if you wanna give it to someone nearby. Um, so I'm really thank thankful that you stopped by today and helped me watch this, prepare these Father's Day um, gifts and card, two little projects in one. And I hope you'll, uh, don't miss out on both the hey, Chick, the hey Chick going away and those dies in the special bundle deal on both that and the Hey Birthday Chick. And use my host code on your order and you can get 20 of those adorable gift bags. I, I'm using them a lot and I think I'm going to be using them uh, throughout the whole year. Like for Christmas coming up, I'm going to have to get more of this evening evergreen. So thank you so much for stopping by today. Have a great week and I'll see you on Friday. Okay, bye-bye.